Hi, my name is Samantha Reinders and I'm a photojournalist based in South Africa. I live in the small town of Prince Albert in the semi-desert area of the Karoo. The Karoo is famous for many, many things, but I'm here today to tell you specifically about one of them. And it's this resilient little green grey shrub that is indigenous to the entire country, but really common in these parts. It's called speckworm, here it is here, or Portulacaria afra. In Afrikaans, which is spoken in these parts, it translates literally into bacon bush, which is ridiculous because it has nothing to do with bacon at all. What is amazing about this plant though, is that it has become the charismatic ambassador for an entire social media phenomenon. And many people believe it to be able to fight climate change like a heavyweight boxer. Speckboom is the king of carbon sequestration. Carbon sequestration is when carbon is captured out of the atmosphere and stored. In optimal conditions, one hectare of speckworm can sequester four to ten tons of carbon a year. And compared to other succulents, it grows quickly and in mass and even in times of drought. Besides all of its so-called miracle properties, it's also just a pretty plant and hardy. And for someone like myself who doesn't have very green fingers, it's easy to grow. This little cutting has been in water for a while, so you see it's even got a little bit of a root. So I'm gonna plant this one right now. Um, but you don't have to root them beforehand. Um, you can just actually chop a big piece off a much bigger plant. Um, and plop it in some soil. It's really that easy. Sandy soil uh, does the best job. Plop it in. Um, Speckworm plants are good for big pots, small pots on sunny porches. So it can grow inside or on a patio, outside in the garden. Um, and they make for really, really good bonsais as well. They really are kind of a jack of all trades. Um, all they need every now and again is a little bit of water. Elephants love to eat the stuff. They can eat up to kilograms of it in a day. Uh, black rhinos also love it. Now, I don't have any of those guys on my farm, but I do have a bunch of Angora goats. Um, and they love to eat some speckworm. Here we have a hungry guy. Would you like some, sir? There we go. Speckworm makes a beautiful flower in spring and summer if the rains have been good. And that also brings loads of insects, especially bees. And the bees bring the birds. So everyone likes a little bit of speckworm. The good news is, is that it's not just animals that can eat speckworm. It's pretty tasty for humans too, and good to boot. It is packed full of vitamin C, as well as mangan manganese, magnesium, and cobalt. And it contains micro elements, iodine and selenium, which act as antioxidants. It's got like a slightly lemony, tangy taste. I mean, you can eat it straight off the bush, pretty tarty. It's perfect if you're doing a long, hot hike through the Karoo. It's great for dehydration. It's great, it'll help with exhaustion or heat stroke, any of those things. But don't be surprised if you see it on a Michelin star menu either. It is all the rage in Cape Town restaurants at the moment. It is great in stews, it's great in salads. But I'm not gonna lie, I have a sweet tooth, and this over here is Speckboom ice cream. And it's pretty delicious. I'm gonna tuck into the rest of this. And come and visit me in the crew sometime and see some Speckboom for yourself and give it a taste. <laughs>